Tortuga. This activity is optional, though I do highly encourage you because it's a fun activity. This is also a two-part activity. Today, you are going to create your own store, and tomorrow you will have the opportunity to shop at somebody else's store. So let's go ahead and start with the instructions. You're going to think of a kind of store to create. You can create a pet store where you sell pets or pet, um, pet clothes or pet food. You can create a grocery store or a clothing store. You can even create a restaurant or a video game store, anything that you want to be as creative as you want. Then you're going to search for images and paste on the slide with your class number on it. So if in your class you are number five, you would scroll to the slide that has the number five in it. Here is where you will add your images and create your store. You should include at least five items. Also, you are going to type the price of each item next to the item. Each item should be less than $1 or 100 cents. <clears throat> you are also going to type the name of your store next to your number, okay? So I am in my classroom, I am number 20, and I am going to be silly and I am going to create a magical pet store. And in my magical pet store, I am going to have magical creatures for pets. So what I do is I go to where it says insert, scroll down to where it says image, hover over it, and while you are hovering over image, you're gonna go to the side and you're going to search the web. When you click on that, on the side, there will be a bar that pops up that's called Google Images. And on the top, it says search for images. So I'm going to search for a unicorn. And they will give me different options of unicorns. So let's say that I want to choose this unicorn here. I'm going to click insert. There's a blue rectangle that pops up at the bottom of your screen. You're going to click on insert. Okay, so it inserts my unicorn. So I'm going to have to add five images and this is too big. So what I do is I hover my mouse over the square um, at the very corner, the bottom corner and my, um, my mouse becomes a two-sided arrow. So I'm gonna click, and while I'm clicking, I'm gonna drag, and this is to resize it, okay? There's my unicorn. I'm also going to include, so I go back to insert, image, search the web, and another magical pet for me would be, um, um, Cyclops, a friendly Cyclops. Okay. Um, I'm going to write, so this one right here, maybe one that's not too scary looking. So I will choose this one, click insert, and it shows me a picture of my Cyclops. So I come to the corner and I resize it and move it somewhere else. Oh, and also, the name of my magical pet store is the Chuga's Magical Pet Store. Okay, I have to add four more items. So you do this until you have five items. Okay, after you have chosen your five items, you will go to the T, the text box. So I'm going to click on text box. And I will create a text box right underneath the pet that I want. So this unicorn pet, well, it wouldn't be realistic for it to be less than a dollar, but this is just um, make-believe. So my unicorn pet is going to be 98 cents. Okay, so I resize it, maybe even bold it, so it'll be easy to see. So I highlight, press the B, and I could even make it bigger. 
reshape the size of the box. Wait till there's the four-sided arrow and move it over. Okay, now I want to give a price for my Cyclops. So my Cyclops is going to be 75 cents. 75 cents. Make sure you put the cent sign. Or you can just type cents. Or you could also type it in this way. Dollar sign. 0 0.75. That means 75 cents. Or you could write it um, this way. 98 cents. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy this activity. I cannot wait to see what kind of super creative and fun stories you come up with. See you soon. Bye.